Well, the COVID-19 vaccine is rolling out now for kids ages 5 to 11 all across the state. And that means hundreds of thousands of Michigan kids could be fully vaccinated in time for holiday celebrations. But as we enter the cold and flu season, there's another virus medical experts say should have families on alert. And that virus poses a danger to both kids and some adults. Since 1972, Central City Integrated Health has been providing comprehensive health care to the people of Detroit and Wayne County. This year, the team is expecting a growing number of cases of respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. With kids back in school, back in preschool, back in daycare, the interaction between them, the particles are spreading, and that's why we're seeing it. Dr. Jasper Gill is Central City Integrated Health's chief medical officer, and he says the symptoms of RSV can be difficult to distinguish from a cold, runny nose, cough, sneezing, fever, and wheezing. But the symptoms usually appear in stages and not all at once. In infants, the only sign of RSV may be irritability, less energy, and breathing difficulties. And in kids under one, RSV is the most common cause of pneumonia and a condition called bronchiolitis. Which is an inflammation of the small airways or a pneumonia in the adult. That's also another time to be evaluated, um, either at your physician or in the ER, depending on severity. So we've already started seeing more RSV cases um, than certainly we saw last year. Michigan's chief medical officer, Dr. Natasha Bagdadarian, says last year's COVID protocols almost eliminated colds, flu, and RSV. The state health department says older infants and toddlers spared RSV last winter might be at greater risk of severe illness this season. And with both COVID circulating and respiratory viruses circulating, this could be a very bad mix. Anyone can get RSV. Adults over 65 and anyone with a chronic lung or heart condition or a weakened immune system is at heightened risk, along with any condition that makes breathing more difficult. For example, asthma, COPD, those individuals could be especially vulnerable. So what can you do to protect your family? Well, Dr. Gill says the old staples of cold and flu season, like covering your cough, washing your hands, and disinfecting high-touch surfaces are your best bet. And if someone is sick, give them TLC. Treat their fever if they're having fever, give them Tylenol, give them fluids. If they stop taking fluids, that's the time they need to go to the hospital because then maybe we need to do an IV for them. One to two percent of young infants with RSV may need to be hospitalized, according to the CDC. But the good news is most children will recover. Now, there is a medicine that can help protect babies at high risk for severe C, uh, uh, RSV disease. It's a series of monthly shots given to premature babies and infants with certain lung or heart conditions. Mm -hmm. But so far, there is no vaccine to prevent RSV. Pfizer and Sanofi are both working on a vaccine, so we could have one shortly for both older adults and for babies, but for now, you just have to treat the symptom.